How is everybody doing today? Hope, uh, hope you're having a good day. Just sent out the tweet that we are live. We're going to be fixing this, uh, this sad Prusha. I'm not certain if it is easy to see, but the entire extruder here is droopy. Like, it's... It's at a good 5 to 10 degree angle. This is not one of our printers. Uh, this is a printer that belongs to a client. Uh, they had it in a chamber, and unfortunately, they put the heater for the chamber blowing right on the extruder. Getting the PETG that the extruder is made out of too hot, and therefore getting a little bit soft. So, eh. It happens. Uh, we've got some parts. And uh, I did promise a bamboo update in the tweet. So I know a lot of you are going to be here for that. So let's talk about it. Um, I think I've got it fixed. Uh, I randomly decided to run some carbon fiber polycarbonate through it because I don't know if it can't do cheap materials. Let's try expensive ones. And um, that worked. And so far, it's been running fine prints so far. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, that's uh, maybe five or six prints in a row now that it's been good. So I'm going to take it with a grain of salt, obviously. But uh, yeah, looks like the bamboo might be okay. I don't know if I want to say that too loud because it can probably hear me. But hey, you know, whatever. Anyways, um... We got a Mark III S Plus here. I'm gonna gonna start the basic of tearing something down, which is see a screw, remove a screw. Um, if you notice that my lights turn off, it is because there is a storm outside. If it starts to really thunder and all that, I'll turn off the noise suppression so you guys can hear it. But um, yeah, I don't see any comments, which is weird, but it looks like we got 19 people here. So hey, how you doing? Uh, can someone just throw a comment in the chat so I can make sure that it's actually working. Uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to start with the uh, see a screw, remove a screw. And I think, I think we can get you guys a little bit closer on the top down camera without too many issues. Okay, cool. All right. I'm like, it's just weird that, uh, wasn't a lot of people commenting. So, um, yeah, we got a bunch of people here. Andreas Grundler. Andreas is here. Bigger Fish is here. Uh, Pepsi Cola Boy is here. Elizabeth Neiman, my dad. Dr. Kenneth Posner is here. Uh, Anton, I'm not even going to try that last name. I'm sorry. Dylan is here. Ashley and uh, Dave as well. Just wanted to make sure. I'm like, huh. Normally, as soon as I start to stream, it starts to get a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Just wanted to make sure things were looking all right. Gonna need a few other heads i don't use the official prusa toolkit because i like mine better <laughs> uh so yeah we're just gonna start removing all the screws to stuff get everything off of this machine and then look at replacing parts one by one now the one thing that i don't have out here is more zip ties so i'm actually gonna try to hopefully replace that without uh Without needing to do anything. Is this the right piece? No. What is the back piece? Do I have a back piece? This has got to be a back piece, right? Damn. I might have to cut zip ties. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. Oh, Dave says he loves his uh, Mark IV and input shaper rocks. I don't yet have a Mark IV. That is hopefully coming soon. Now, I am going to do most of this just by memory. Um, so I might end up screwing things up if I do. Well, that stuff happens, and we will attack it as it occurs. But yeah, glad to see everybody's here. So we're just screwing around. Yeah, I guess so. I, I guess if you wanted to call it that, you could. Okay. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Everything is, like, jammed. Everything is jammed. It's really, really odd. Because, of course, the printer slowly melted during a print. It's kind of crazy. 
Let's make sure you guys can still see what's going on. And of course, any parts. Is it? Oh, it might be still attached to the screw. Uh, any parts that got damaged, I'm going to have to extract the hardware out of because I don't have spare Prusa hardware kits. That is not something that I maintain in inventory. So we are just going to have to make it work. That should not have fallen out as easy as it did. That was the Bontech gear and the pin. I can see the pin. I'm going to get it. We were going to have stream beats today, but uh, I guess Nero's been getting some of his videos flagged for copyright, so we are not going to be using stream beats today. Yeah, take, it, take a look at that part. Um, let me... Let me open that in, in, in the big window. Hold on. Overhead only. Take a look at how, how much that is that is warped. Right? That that is the danger of running high temp. And there you go. Those are supposed to be in line. They are supposed to be in line. So that's kind of crazy. And if you guys prefer to see the overhead more, I can give you the a big overhead small grant. But we're going to start basically by pulling off the extruder. My hope is that I can leave most of the cables and not have to remove them. Um, that would be great. So Dave is asking, did the hot end melt something? What happened? Uh, this is a printer that was inside of a chamber. You can tell that because the power supply is separate from it. You got to have power supplies outside of chambers or they have a tendency to overheat. And uh, unfortunately, I guess the heater was blowing directly on the printer, and that worked. And that's uh, what got it hot enough to cause these problems. Boy, everything is since since everything is bent, you can't just pull the screws out. They're they're very stuck in there. That's crazy. It is not often that I that I have you know this much challenge with a uh, with with working on a Perusia, but hey, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it was it was inside of a heated chamber, and that's what caused the issue. This is the reason that we're working on a product called the Politician. This wasn't supposed to be like a advertising stream, but if you are in the Patreon Discord, you have kind of enjoyed seeing me work on this thing live and kind of learn all about uh, the stuff that's going on uh, with the Politician. But that thing is coming out soon. We will be releasing it publicly at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival. So if you are going to be at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival and you would like one, we will have them there with us. Uh, Bigger Fish asks, what are the new parts printed from? This is, uh, it's going to be ABS. Everything is made out of ABS now. I, I'm not taking chances. I know this guy runs a, uh, a chamber. So I'm not going to take chances with just doing it out of PETG. So um, the heat from the printer is sometimes enough, but often if you're running like an ABS or an ASA in a chamber, having a heater is really, really nice to have. It's not, it's not needed. It's just, it's a nice to have. Everything is stuck. Every single screw is stuck. I'm so not used to this. I, I know where to go for everything, but nothing is coming out the way that I'm expecting. It's so funny. Uh, but yeah, this is all ABS, and it was printed on my bamboo. So we're actually getting okay, okay results from the bamboo. Uh, ever since I ran some carbon fiber polycarbonate through it, it seems to be happier. Which would lead me to believe that there is, or was, an issue with some sort of metal burr, or some sort of burr, creating some issues in the AMS. This is not unreasonable. Um, it's definitely something that can happen. So it is very curious to me that that, that might be what our issue is. So... Very, very odd. But I am trying to use my bamboo more often because we uh, we don't 
We don't have a lot of time before my one my six month video. Next, uh, the middle of July will be my six month video. So we do have some damage on on the fan shroud here, but that's pretty normal when you're not running your printer with a uh, with a heater sock. So I do have to get the square nut out of here and. Just looking at a lot of these parts, I'm going to be breaking a lot of parts to get the parts out of them. So, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. How's everybody's day going? Hope you guys are doing okay. <laughs> T says, LOL, he printed parts on a bamboo for a Prusa. Yosef must be sad. Um, no, I, I think uh, since I have to do these parts and I need them to be ABS... Uh, the bamboo is actually technically better equipped for this, being that it has a um, a fully enclosed system. So, I don't think he would be upset. He might be disappointed in me, uh, but I don't think he would be, you know, angry, as you guys might expect. Ultimately, it's 3D printing. Um, you know, I can use whatever I want. I, I was thinking of doing it on a uh, Mark 3S, but honestly, with warping, and especially when you're running styrene plastics in open air, even with how warm I keep everything in the shop, it's just not worth the BS sometimes. It just isn't. So what I'm going to do, and actually, if there, are there any mods here? If there are mods here. Can someone drop, uh, and it has to be a mod. Sorry, uh, non-mods non won't be able to do it, but... There are mods. Can one of you all drop um, the link to the assembly manual for the E-axis? Because that is basically what I need to do. Jeez, some of these parts are really stuck. Get out. <sighs> Hagnatic says, I was going to joke that the replacement carriage is printed with the bamboo and here we are. Glad you're able to get the thing working. Well, it's only a few prints down. Um, so far, it seems to be, um, you know, acting, acting as I would hope. But you know, I I'm not, uh, not getting my hopes up just yet for that thing. I still think I still think it's got something to prove with me. But I will tell you, I've given up with bamboo support. It, it was, it was, it, it was just, I have never wanted to just rip my own eyes out more than dealing with bamboo support. It was, it was not a great experience. It, it just wasn't. Their support staff are not properly trained uh, at all. And it is incredibly obvious. Jeez, everything is just so tight because of how it's all melted. That is just nuts, man. I have never seen like okay, I actually have seen printers melted before. But um but never never Normally when they're melted it's because someone tried to use a blowtorch on it for some reason and uh caused some damage. I forget. Okay, there we go. I'm like I know we have magnets on the Prusa. I just don't know where they are. Um Triple O three says, wait, your bamboo is working. So far, it's about five prints deep being okay, and uh, it took me using... Oh, God. I don't know if you can hear the the screw making noise in the plastic. Uh, it, it took me running carbon fiber polycarbonate through it, um, one of one of our highest end materials that we, ha that we offer here, uh, and the general consensus is that there was likely a burr or something inside of the filament path or hot end or something. So, yeah. Kind of weird. Um, <laughs> Dave says not going to get the sample MK4 now. Well, hey. You know, if I'm not cool enough to get... Uh, to, get a, to get an MK4, then I'm not cool enough to get an MK4. If I am... I am. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm not gonna... Oof. That was not great. That was the ball bearing going. No, wait. I got the ball bearing. The magnet fell. 
ball bearing is on the table. I can see it. Oh, maybe I didn't. What flew out? I don't know. Is the ball bearing magnetic? It's not. Okay, got a little O-ring I can put it in. What broke? Honestly, I don't care. It was probably an M3. I've got, I've got all my M3 out here with me, so not too worried about it. Man. You would think this stuff would be a lot easier to work with, but I, I assure you, it is not. It is not easier to work with. All right. Got to get this out. Every Nothing just pulls out. It's so freaking weird. Oh, wow. This entire extruder plate is wiggly, too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is completely wiggly. Try heating up the material and then try to pull it out. Might be easier to wiggle it that way. I could, but I don't want to risk damaging anything in the printer in the process. My goal is to have this thing to the client uh, this weekend. He, he was trying to, well, he wanted it by the end of the month, but he texted me last night saying, hey, if I could get it this weekend, that'd be great. I was going to stream this next Monday, but I said, why the hell not? Let me see what I can do. So we've got the PTFE for the hot end. It's in rough shape. We'll clean that up in a, I'll clean that up in a bit. That whole thing is loose. Crazy. I don't think I've seen one this bad in a while. OMG Frankie, how you doing? How you doing? OMG Frankie is one of our Patreon Discord members. And if you do want to go hang out, I'm sure they're there live right now making fun of me. As they tend to. Hard watching two streams at once. Who else is streaming? Am I am I overlapping someone? I'm trying not. I figured 3.30 on, on a Thursday. Or is this Wednesday? It's Wednesday. 3.30 on a Wednesday shouldn't overlap anybody, but I'm sorry if I did. I don't want to. I'm trying not to. I'm like, when are other people streaming? It doesn't look like anybody streams on Thursdays. So I chose today. Why watch two streams when the Grant Master is the only one that matters? Hey, 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 I am not the only I am not the only streamer that matters. I wholeheartedly recommend that if you are taking in content, that you look at more than one place, that you explore other content creators. Oh, Modbot's doing a 2.4. Okay. Sorry! <gasps> I didn't know. I guess I should know. Modbot normally streams at this time. Ah, crap. Yeah, that one's on me. I, I, I should have known that one. Yeah, he normally does stream at this time. Well, I feel like I feel like a mean person. Because, yeah, I mean, there is kind of some etiquette to this whole thing where you don't want to you don't want to be streaming at the same time as other streamers. Because what happens is now your audience is split, and I don't want what I'm doing to reduce somebody else's money. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just the weird person in me. Obviously, the capitalist in me says, hey, they're going to watch whoever they want to watch. It ain't your problem, homie. But, you know, there's the nice person in me that says, I like Daniel. And he does phenomenal content. Modbot's a great place to get content. So, highly, highly recommended. T says, hey, Grant, have you had trouble getting your extruder apart on the bamboo when you had a jam? I found that a hairdryer helps soften up the filament. You can pull it apart or retract the filament. Um, haven't had too many issues with that specifically. Um, but I've also gotten really good at pulling the, uh, the bamboo apart, for better or worse. Um, I can pull apart the hot end and extruder on a bamboo in two minutes three minutes and so and and you'll see there there's going to be an upcoming video there's only two titles for it uh one title is i was right and the other one is i was wrong so those will be if i can really get the good bamboo experience in the next six months or in the next uh 
basically two and a half weeks at this point. July 13th will be six months on the on the dot. The video will come out on the 12th, so technically I will film it a little bit before the exact six-month day, but work with me. Um, yeah, the video's going to only have one of two titles. It'll be either I was right or I was wrong, and uh, I think right now I might be modifying that to I was right in parentheses, kind of. Um, I shouldn't have to go through all the work that I've done to solve a problem with their printer because it's not my fault. And uh, Bamboo support starting to pander to me and say, you know, we can't help you if you're going to keep changing what's wrong with your printer. I'm like, I'm not changing what's wrong with my printer. It just keeps having more problems. Like, if you want me to open a, se a separate support ticket for every issue, I can. But you don't need that many open support tickets in your system. Anyways, Bamboo support is truly not great. I have to break apart now. Uh, but yeah, I have not had great, great experiences with their support. And we're going to talk about that in that video. So I'm also going to have some of my successes and some of my failures on the table, like we did for the one month review. Um, and just kind of talk about kind of everything that's gone on and my experiences. Man, everything is so tough to get out of this thing because it's all melted. <laughs> like here, I, I want you guys to see how, uh, how warped this is. This might look like it's totally fine, but when you realize that's supposed to be straight, right? Look at the side of it. Look at how warped it is. You can see the heat, how it deformed the back and the side. That is supposed to be round. This thing got really hot. I'm fairly certain their heater went into thermal runaway when this happened. Because I really don't see another way that this happened. Sorry. It's still... Oh, yeah, you can't even see me anyways. It's still during normal business hours, so I have to check my phone periodically. And if we do get a phone call, I will have to answer it. Because at the end of the day, I am still running a business. Even though we are changing what we do and how we do it, I am still running a business, and it does still need my attention. PTFE looks mangled. Yeah, that PTFE has seen some better days. For sure. For sure, it has seen some better days. Uh, Jaffe is asking what happened to this thing. This thing was in a heated enclosure, and something went wrong. We don't know exactly what yet or how. I mean, we, we, we know it was a heater. That went bad. Um, but I don't know if the heater went into thermal runaway, and everything just kind of imploded from there. Or if something else happened. Here is hoping that all I have to do that I can reuse this back plate. Because if not, I have to undo this whole cable thing. And I don't want to do that. Um, can the motor fit through? No, it can't. Okay, so that, that just has to hang guess all right we're gonna hang this whole plate here is bent so not reuse that dang man oh i'm gonna need zip ties anyways um hmm uh major gamer geek is asking was it running the newer uh ml predictive firmware it is running 3.11 i checked i checked to make sure it powered on before the stream but it is running 3.11, so theoretically, yes, it is running that firmware. Um, all right, I need to go inside and get some zip ties. That was not something that I expected to need. I will be right back. Uh, T says, you might want to ch double check the hot end fan is actually working. I forget what YouTuber, but his fan wasn't working. He had a lot of issues. That is not what is wrong with this printer. This is a Mark 3S. Uh, that was Uncle Jesse and the... Uh, printer fan for the part and the printer fan for the hot end were switched, which meant it wouldn't run. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's not the case here. This is user error. This is someone that had a heater and it went nuclear. I know where my zip ties are. I'll be right back. I have to go get them. So I don't know here. Enjoy the overhead only. <laughs> be right back.
I don't have a dancing. I don't have a dancing baby. I'm sorry. Okay. Got my zip ties. We're back. We're back. I forgot that I would need them, but I got them, so now we're good. Um can we have a dancing cat instead? I don't have I don't have a dancing cat thing, I'm sorry. Uh Triple O three says, I can't relate to your experiences with bamboo. Any issues I've had was my own user error and bamboo support has been great. I feel bad for you. Well, bamboo support has been constantly blaming stupid shit. They blamed, they blamed a third party build plate for issues with the extruder. They blamed, um, covers for the AMS first stage feeder so that you don't grind your filament into the funnel that they have so, you know so you, you don't wear through items you wear through easily replaceable parts that don't require you to undo things they blamed that on all the ams issues that i've had i took the part out and the issue only got worse so i put the part back on and i on, i just stopped working with bamboo because uh honestly it, it has not been great it has not been great and again some people will have great support some like me will not. That's just how she goes, bubs. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, the Cycling Lawyer says 3.12 is the latest, not 3.11. And if that was such a big deal, then my Prusas wouldn't work because they're on 3.8.3. I am not going to be updating uh, this, this printer. If the user wants to update it, they can. I will not be doing firmware upgrades. Um, I know Prusas will run just fine on most of the firmware. So, uh, T. Uh, I don't know. I I'm assuming you are referencing Bamboo. We said he spent three months in a support ticket till he got a refund. They offered zero support. I had to figure everything out. Yeah, this has been what I've noticed with Bamboo. You either have a phenomenal experience with them and you have no issues and your machine runs like a swiss watch or your experience is more like mine where the machine is bad and i've and not mind you it's, it's i've had two machines from them so yeah i i don't i don't see people that are like oh it's okay it's either the best printer since sliced bread or uh or it's the devil <laughs> um but yeah, I don't know. It's running. Uh, it's not printing right now. I didn't want to have it running while I was in here because uh, I can't hear it. I'm out in my garage, so I cannot hear it where I'm located. So if something did happen, uh, you know, it's normally it's in my shop so I can hear it. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I could hear it. I'm going to give all these parts back to the user. Uh, like the person that owns this printer and say, this is how bad it got. Because this this rear piece is really bad. Okay, you might say, Grant, that looks okay. <laughs> it is it is all types of warped, man. It is all types of warped. This thing's back is so bent it looked like me when I first got injured. Ha That's a bad joke. I'm still in a lot of back pain. And for those of you that are going through chronic pain, I'm sorry. I feel it, and I wish we had a solution for it. Maybe one day I'll be smart enough to design something that can cure my back pain via 3D printing. That would be pretty cool. Okay. That's gone, too. So, let's move our ball bearings to make sure... Oh, yeah. Ball bearings are fine. I don't even need to check that. Huh. Mr. Tiberom said, so "End up sending my P1P back to Bamboo Lab. Had literally nothing but issues. Yeah, again, it's like you either have an amazing experience with them, 
or you have a terrible one. I have not met people that are like middle of the road with bamboo. So. Major Gamer Geek is asking if this is a customer printer that I am repairing. And yes, it is. This is not, this is not my printer. We don't have any of our Mark III S's actually inside of enclosures. This is really going to suck if this backplate is messed up. It doesn't look like it is. I'm going to ride on the fact that the backplate for this is in okay shape. Because if it is, it makes this whole thing so much easier for me. I will provide the client with the part. Actually, I have two of them. So I will provide them with the part should they need to do it. But to change out that backplate... You have to undo all the wiring, which is, like, honestly, pretty bad. Kit says, I need an animation of Victoria doing the Musketeer Zorro Puss in Boots type moves. Um, hey, Frankie, if you're in here, can you tag Margaret in streaming and such and uh, tell her that that's what people want? That'd be really cool if she could get that made. Um, hey, Mad Cat, you're here. Can you send me... The Prusa assembly manual, because I forgot to have it ready, for the E-axis. Because that is what I need to do. I need to do the E-axis. Be really great if a mod could send that. So, alright. Have a new backplate. It is made out of ABS, so life should be better. Um, this is where the Mark IV is nice. It's a single cable. It is a single cable. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. That's cool. I can dig that. Alright, so based on where I had to pull screws out of, I know where to put screws back for this one. Ooh, these are a little loose. That's not going to run well. Um, oh, bamboo. Can we see some closer to the bamboo ABS quality? I can tell you it looks pretty good. Like, it looks great. Uh, sure, let me, let me do that for you. So this is this is off the bamboo. Looks pretty good. We have some over a little bit of over extrusion. Uh, but there's the part. First layer looks great. This is on a wham bam flex plate. We have one little. I think yeah, the corner over here lifted just a little bit, but it shouldn't be that much of an issue overall. Part quality is really nice. Again, when when the bamboos work, they're not bad printers. It's just that mine doesn't work all the damn time, and it's kind of frustrating. Uh, all right. So this is going to suck, because as soon as I tip it... Oh. Okay, it might it might not fall out. Oh, there's a little piece of plastic in there keeping it from falling out. Uh, these square nuts are going to be a problem. Where is it? Prusa.com? Yeah, it'll be on Prusa's website. I'm just trying to keep these square nuts from falling out. That'll be a problem. Hi, Nose here. This is Howdy Grant. How's it going? I mean, overall, not with the bamboo. Actually, the bamboo's working. So, yeah, these square nuts are falling out. Oh, but these are... Okay, never mind. These face upwards, so it doesn't matter. Aha! It doesn't matter. We're cool as a cucumber. All right. Was there another one? There was another one. Might want to put a thermostat on it. Well, that's why we're building the politicians, so you don't have stuff like this happen. In fact, I have a uh, phone call with the manufacturer of the really, really, really awesome heaters that we're going to try to use uh, in the next day or two. I, I, I had a quick phone call with a rep earlier. And the rep thinks it will work for our purpose. So if that is the case, I am super excited. Because uh, this is going to really change the way that people look at heaters. And I'm really excited for it. So. Oh, always oh, on his phone. That's okay. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, if I need to, I can look it up myself. Not that big of a deal. All right. 
So I got to pull some uh, some nuts into place. Caught that bolt before it hit the ground. Got to pull some nuts into place. So that's that's the uh, the next step that we're doing right now. This is a step that I know Prusha has you go through. I've built enough Mark III S's, but hilariously never an S+. Plus. So, yeah. T said, I finally figured out how to make ABS stick to my bamboo PEI sheet without glue stick. Uh, I cannot help you there. I run a Wham Bam Flex Plate. And I love it. I love that Wham Bam Flex Plate. It's great. Didn't realize you were on your phone, Mad Cat. Sorry about that, dude. Not trying to make anybody's day more difficult. Oh, crap. <sighs> you know, Joel Telling uh, showed something the other day. He was building a, a snap maker. And he's like, it is so much easier to build printers off stream. Yep, it totally is, Joel. It is so much easier to build printers off stream. <laughs> uh, Dave says he wonders what the longevity of the bamboo is going to be. He has over 3,000 hours as Mark 3S. Sounds like I wouldn't want to have a bamboo. Um, again, some people will have good experiences. Others will not. It is incredibly dependent on if you get a good printer. I, I think the wear issue we're going to see are those going to be those carbon fiber rods and their bushings. Uh, and being that they are non-user serviceable, you have to replace the whole part. Um, that is going to be an issue. So, 003 asks, have I gotten a chance to look at the XL yet? Um, I know single shooter printers are shipping, but I haven't seen anything on the multicolored side of things. So, Prusha did have a recent update. In fact, I think we were listed in that update uh, for the podcast we did on sustainability. Um, which was pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be featured in an article for Prusha. But, um, yeah, they are, uh, they're looking like the second week of July, I thought. Don't quote me on that, but it's in the article. You can look it up. I have seen XLs in the wild. Like, I've seen them at trade shows, just like everybody else has. Uh, but I do not yet have an XL. So, I am not in the beta. I am a nobody. But you guys already knew that. If I was somebody special, we'd have a really huge audience. <laughs> but I am not. I am like the rest of you. I am just a regular dude who likes 3D printing. And who likes sharing his experiences with others. Hey Grant, I can post a link to the assembly. Uh, you cannot T. Unless I make you a mod, you will not be able to post it. We have links turned off for non-mods. Um, it's okay, guys. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna send it and see how I do it. Papa Berries East asked if it went through. It did not go through because you are not a mod. But I know you, and I don't mind making you a mod. So there you go. Uh. There you go. Papa Bear, you can now post it. So, thank you. Now you can post it. Now you're a mod. Assuming you accept it. You know, if you don't want to be a mod, you don't have to. But if you just if you just become a mod to post, and then you're like, I'm out, thanks, that's fine too. It's not a, not a need or a responsibility if you don't want it. Oh, send it in Discord. I don't have Discord on this PC open. So, that... Bit of an oversight on my part, um, but, you know, hey, who's really surprised? <laughs> who's really surprised? I make mistakes all the damn time. But that's that's life, man. Life is about making mistakes. You know. It's making sure that you learn from them and that you don't repeat them. All right, belt tension time. Thank you, Papa Bear AZ. 
We've got it. So what we are going to do is pin it. So now I can have it open. And if you all want to see it, you can have it open too. I figure that is uh, an acceptable solution to all parties involved. The hardest thing on Purusha's is this freaking belt. It is such a pain in the ass. I wish there was a better way to do the belts, but alas, there really is not. It's kind of a janky way that doesn't always work well for me. And always, yeah, it always results in a loosely tensioned thing. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a screw for the MK3S, and I forget where... Oh, it's right here. Like, there, there's a screw for the MK3S that tensions the belt. Okay, we fell out of the backside. I am going to completely loosen the motor, tension the belt as little as, as, little as humanly possible. And then, uh, then we're going to look at it. Would it be bad to suggest a few fencing moves against the bad guy that look vaguely like an X? I used fence many years ago. Did not do it long enough to get good at it. All right, I have the have that as loose as it can go on the pulley on this side. Looks like it. Boom to ba. Let's get this thing in here. Oh, Papa Bear's going to be doing a uh, an MK4 kit build. Well, then I would say go subscribe to Papa Bear AZ. Because uh, I'm not cool enough to have one yet. In fact, I don't have the money for one at the moment. So we will not... You will not be getting an MK4 for the meantime. I cannot, unfortunately, afford it. I'm dumping every available resource that we have into the new business model that we're doing. So, um, with the with the uh, XL coming eventually and needing to make sure that I keep finances open for that, I said it's either it's either an XL or a Mark IV. So I said, obviously, that answer is pretty easy for me. Dave Kolstra says, this is why open source is so much better than, you said a bamboo, but I'm going to say closed source because there are more companies that are closed sourced. People can figure and source easier. Love that you are constantly trying to constantly fix it. Yeah. Uh, in fact, this weekend's podcast is going to be all about customer support and customer service, I'm going to be asking you guys some questions that might result in me starting a new business. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing. I might have put these on backwards. Well, we'll see if this is fine. I assume it is. All right. Belts are tensioned. We're good there. A little bit of twang, not too much twang. Okay. I don't think I've screwed anything up yet. <laughs> but the night is still young. John Olson says I joined late. Did you miss a grant rant? Not yet. Uh, things have been going pretty smoothly here. I mean, I, I said that, so I just jinxed myself. But, you know, at least I probably won't cut any cables on this stream. The last time I was out here streaming, I cut cables on a live stream. That was fun. And by fun, I mean it was terrifying. And because I've never soldered on camera before. So you all actually got to see me solder on camera for the first time. Overall, I'd say it went pretty well. OMG Frankie says, I tell ya. Since the alpha firmware, it's a game changer to Mark IV. Even if the alpha profiles 
are a little conservative. Well, hey, if they were a lot conservative, it'd be a different color. Ayo, got him. Is that is that an okay joke? I mean, I still made it. Is that is that an okay joke to make? Because I'm gonna make it. Uh, let's not go there. Let's make it this loose here. <sighs> Uh, Popberry Z says, uh, I'll get an XL when the five tool head is shipping with minimal weight. I have a feeling that's going to be a minute and a half, my brother. I think it's going to be a while. As much as I don't want it to be, I have a feeling that it's going to take a while for Prusha to get all of this under control. Um, but, you know, it kind of feels like Prusha is doing everything they can to push out updates very quickly. Uh, and I'm a little worried that, like, the Mark IV was pushed faster than maybe it should have been. Now, I don't work for Prusa, so obviously a uh, grain of salt that. But just from, like, a personal feeling, it's like, huh, I don't know. You know, something just, something felt, something felt off about that. Like, why didn't we just wait for Input Shaper? I don't know. Uh, Anton asks, what accelerometer do you need for input shaping on the Mark IV? It's a great question. I don't think you're actually going to be able to set your own input shaper systems with the Mark IV. I'm fairly certain, actually, that it's just going to come with a, uh, a preset from the factory that should hopefully just work. Is that is that good? Okay, that's much better. I should have tied my hair up before I did all this stuff. The XL had to backtrack after Bamboo. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but no, uh, that's that's not that's not that's not how that works. And I have knowledge that is not how that works. Jeez, why is this not going into its uh, its needed hole? I know, things not going into the holes they belong. I mean, it's a personal problem, I know. There it is. Okay. That's what I needed. That's what I need. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. This one was in the middle. At least I think it was. Maybe it wasn't. Huh. <sighs> let me let me check everything here. I'm doing things out of order, clearly. Okay, put those two in. That has to get routed up through here. Great. Oh, all right. Well, it was done at a different point, so whatever. All right. Well, let's take this out and replace it with a bigger one. At least, I think. You are supposed to be a longer screw, I think. Maybe. I don't know yet. I know I'm just talking to myself. Sorry. This is just kind of how I work. Um... The input shaping should work on three dot on a three dot five Mark three S. Uh, that is what we are going to be doing for all of our machines. We are going to be doing three point fives. Um, I don't think it makes financial sense to go to a uh, a three point nine or a four. Personally, but some might feel that they want everything. 
I don't. All right, got our new extruder, front plate. You don't have anything that matches that center hole, which means I have likely missed a bolt. That is on me. Uh, let's see. It looks like there might be threads in there. Maybe it just needs a longer bolt. Nope, ain't that one. Hmm. That's that's mildly frustrating. I think I messed something up. It's not that big of a deal. It's a relatively easy fix, but I think one of the square nuts might have fallen out. So let's find out. Ducky says it is possible to tune input shaper without an accelerometer using a test print. Hoping they come up with the ability to do it yourself for future releases. That would be nice to see. I honestly don't know if they will, but it would be nice to see. To be clear, though, I have basically zero experience. I have zero experience with Clipper. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I got zero experience with Clipper. Never used it. Never even installed it. Uh, we will be doing that in an upcoming series, uh, more or less titled One Idiot's Journey Through Clipper, where me, hi, the idiot, uh, will take a journey through Clipper and uh, see what it takes to... Use Clipper. Huh. That is a hole that stops. Because that roughly goes there. And that hole doesn't go into anything. Oh, does it slide in from the top or the bottom? Ah, uh, this will be the x-axis. X-carriage assembly. Give me just a second to find out. Nope. I... Dang. I want the x-axis x -axis assembly. That's not it. Okay. Well, they want you to install everything very different from how I'm doing it. There's not too much I can do about that. Kind of is what it is. Sorry that I'm not paying attention to chat. I am trying to see where stuff is supposed to go. Well, good thing zip ties are cheap. Yep, I missed the square nut. Okay. All right, I missed the square nut. Did I miss taking it out of the main part? I did not. Okay. Missed the square nut installation. That is on me. All right, glad we figured out the problem. Sorry, chat. Ack. Sorry. You're fired, Grant. Well, who's going to take over for me? I mean, I guess the cat could. You guys would probably enjoy just seeing the cat in, in videos, and not me. Crap. Well, does that mean Jonathan has to start making the videos? Because I do have an identical twin. And if you've watched the streams enough, you've seen him. Because he shows up every now and then. In the streams. He, uh... He keeps the wee-woos wee-wooing for a day job. He works for the local fire department.
All right, new zip ties and back in business. That's why it's good to have spares. This is why we do this kind of thing, guys. And you know, honestly, I'm enjoying this because uh, when it comes to printer maintenance, I don't do it enough. I do not do it enough. And uh, I kind of just send it and say, ah, it'll be fine. Every now and then, it is not fine. And something gets messed up. But in a production atmosphere like we have here, it's a little bit different than, say, your home printer. Shit. Shit. Oop. Does your twin look just like you? Uh, kind of. Since he works a regular job, he does not have long hair, shaves, so similar. Um, but you probably, I mean, if you saw us next to each other, actually, if you go to the uh, the Revo Point range video, he's in that video. Um, but if you saw us next to each other, you'd be like, oh, okay, they're, they're brothers, right? It's very obvious that we are related. Uh, however, you might not immediately suspect twins just because of how different I look. Hello? This part has definitely warped a little bit. I'm trying to make it work. Because replacing it would be a nightmare. A night, an absolute nightmare. Alright, I got it. I got it. We got it. And honestly, this part, even though it is just PETG, is not all that integral, and it did not get damaged the first time. So I have faith it will be fine on number two as well. All right, now the screw's in. Now we got it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now that's the right direction. Let's go. Cool. All right, now I got to uh, install some parts here. Install a square nut. Parts from bamboo are not dimensionally accurate. I can tell you that. They are not dimensionally accurate. Because uh, <laughs> pushing in these parts is not working very well. That's not a good feeling. Dave says, have fun, folks. Gotta go. Enjoyed the fun and no ranting yet. Well, I like building Prusas. I think they're a lot of fun. It is starting to get a little warm in the garage. Even though it's like... <sighs> I sweat more when I'm on stream. It's like I am nervous about making mistakes on camera. So, yeah. It sucks. I hate, I hate, uh, hate getting sweaty on stream because I'm like, I don't want to sweat through my shirt. <laughs> um, all right, we got that one installed. We got to install some uh, hex nuts here. And this is the R6 build, for anybody wondering. That's not a long enough screw. Story of my life. Is that? That is. Okay. Um, Ashley says she couldn't believe how far she had to take her MMU2 apart a couple of weeks ago. She had Prusament Red get stuck in there. One of the PTFE tubes was swollen. Sorry you've been through that, Ashley. It's never any fun. 
was the persimmon that swelled up. I have no idea why. Yeah, I, I don't know why that happened to you. It's never any fun. Okay. Looks like we need a square nut in there. Oh, jeez. These parts are really, really, really tight. Um, don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Not on, not on stream. You've done that before. It's not fun to cut yourself when you're live streaming. A smaller screw here. I'm hoping that everything else on this machine will be okay. But we will see. Okay. Alright, that one's in place. Again, let me show you guys the part quality that we're working with on the bamboo. So this is the new extruder plate. Looks pretty good. Reasonably happy with it no no major issues so no complaints there let's see not seeing anything else any other places that i broke to get something out doesn't look like it this this part had a lot of heat a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of heat. That is, uh... That is not fun. Not fun at all. I think that goes like that. Yeah. Wait, that came off the bamboo, but how? The bamboo has been playing ball last couple of days so yeah gotten lucky so far i've gotten lucky so far uh let's see I got to, uh, <laughs> I'm looking through the, uh, the E-axis assembly for the Mark 3S. So that's what I am currently doing. Got those two in there. I need to get the, uh, this piece with its hex head screw, which I think just goes right into the plastic. I don't think that this screw is anything special. Yep, plastic part. Okay. Nope, Grant, you gotta get something longer than that. Jeez. Story of my life. Story of my life. And the magnets need to repel each other. So that is a big thing with the build of the Mark III, is that your, uh, your magnets must repel each other. You also want to make sure that the... Uh, that the filament sensor can move freely. And I know that is in backwards now. Because that needs to... What the hell? Alright, I gotta see how this ball piece goes in. Where does the ball piece... Oh, it goes in from the top, doesn't it? Bet you it does. Yep, it goes in from the top just like that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, Duff's here. Hey, Duff. I don't know if I said that earlier, but hey, Duff. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Haganix says, wouldn't the extrusion multiplier affect dimensional accuracy? Notice that one style in the bamboo is pretty accurate. Um... It should automatically adjust all of that during its calibration. That is 
literally why you would get a bamboo is that it shouldn't need any of that stuff because the LiDAR sensor does all that BS for you. But alas, I have not been one of the lucky ones. Now, we will see if my, uh, if my luck is due for some change, and it might be. We will see. But right now, I am still very cautious of that machine. I don't trust it. Like... It's like, oh, oh, it, it, it did one good part. No, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's broken my trust once. And that was too many times. <laughs> All right. Uh, how far behind is my preview? Oh, okay, it's not. All right. Hydration! Megantic says that that sensor is not always reliable. Well, unfortunately, if the sensor is not reliable, there's nothing that you can do. Uh, in fact, there is literally nothing that you can do. If the sensor gives you a bad reading... Your extrusion multiplier is not gonna. It, it, it's it's not gonna matter, um. Because there's there's literally nothing you can do about it. Okay, I am trying to walk through uh, steps here. All right, so that goes there, which means that's on the inside, which means I need to have. This, like this, yeah, okay, where's that pin? <laughs> Papa Bear says my trust only goes so far, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good fit, no issues there. Now, I will say, this was over quite a few prints, so... Could be right here, but not right elsewhere. Because I had a lot of, a lot of failures. A lot of failures in this whole print endeavor with the bamboo. It was not fun at all. Um, there are a couple of screws that hold this tight against the back plate. And it's these two. They're two shorties. Because that's what I need to put in now. And I'm sure if I'm missing something, somebody is just screaming at me through the computer. Oh, they go, they go in. So let's get these in a little bit. Proper input shaping it for core kinematics is challenging in the basic ZB. Shaper's probably insufficient. When fixed time motion with advanced input shaper is done, it should do better. Yeah, I don't know a gosh darn thing about anything that you just said. That might as well have been pure and utter gibberish. Oh, oh, here it is. Voron build when, Rook build when. All right, all right. So the reason that we haven't started a trident build, there are a couple of things that need to happen. There are some streams that I need to do. So tomorrow, I'm probably going to be streaming a new scanner. Um, well, new to me. Uh, Reality sent over the CR scan ferret, which I would like to take a look at. So we're going to take a look at that hopefully tomorrow. Right? Did I say that was tomorrow? Yeah, I think I, I, think I was planning on streaming tomorrow. Um, then we have to do some shop cleaning videos. Uh, this table is going away. Flexi Spot sent over a desk. And that is going to be my new work table. This table is going to go behind me to have projects on it. So that way I can still use this set for building things like the Voron. But I can still use the set to film. Because I can take the Voron and put it back here somewhere. So um, the table is probably going to be at the same height. So I think the Voron will fit here. If not, we'll drop the table. I might I might still drop the table a little bit. But I do have this glass tube that I want to do something with. This is my uh, 
CO2 laser tube that I want to do something with. OMG Frankie says, Flexi Spot desks look incredible, but they are pricey. Mine was not pricey. In fact, it was it was free. It was free. Uh, in exchange for... All they said is I have to do a 90-second product placement. So, probably just going to do a stream. Although, we, we've always wanted to do a video on like building an effective workstation. And I think when I am forced to clean all of this garbage... Building an effective workstation kind of happens, so maybe we, we do a video for that, and that's how we give them their uh, their product placement. I don't know. NA says, Krant, you are a national treasure of the 3D printing industry. Thank you for the great content. Thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, leave a like, get subscribed, and all those things. We've lost a lot of viewers. It's weird. Am I, am I, am I doing something wrong? Or are people really just expecting me to be pissed off all the time? And then when I'm not pissed off, they leave? I, I, think, I think people are expecting me to be mad all the time. I promise you, it is not a normal thing to, for me to be mad. This PTFE is just straight knackered, man. This is in real rough shape. Ow. Just snipped my finger. Alright, I keep clipping my finger. So what's he do? He goes to a knife, because that's safer. Yeah, we got some swarf. Why are you spinning? I don't think you should spit. I really don't think you should spit. I'm not used to PTFE spin. There we go. T says we just want you to suffer. You know, sometimes... Sometimes I think that that is accurate. I can tell you the streams why I get hurt a lot, because it's the ones where we have a lot of donations. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Y'all just, y'all want to pay to see me hurt myself. It's like, oh, okay. Or when I do something stupid, like cut wires on a live stream. Um, that is, that might end up being a problem. We'll see. But for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, you are not the right size. Um. Ha. Huh. I don't like that. Um. Of course, I don't think I have any PTFE for a Mark Three S Plus. Maybe I do. What the hell? This isn't... Wait a minute. This is a regular straight piece of PTFE. This isn't right. Can someone confirm to me that the, that the MK3S... I don't think it has a straight piece of PTFE. I think it's got beveled. Can someone please... Um, can someone please verify that? Because the piece I just pulled out of the hot end is not beveled. And I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be. I think that they... It is supposed to be up on a Mark III S Plus. Let me... Uh, I got a box of Prusa spares inside. It needs to be beveled. Okay. Well, this one isn't. I got some Prusa spares inside. Um, let me see. You can use straight. It's beveled for them. No, it's beveled for all of them. Let me see if... Uh, I don't know if I have... Crap. All my machines are MK3s. Let me see if I have anything for an MK3S inside. I'll be right back. There are MK3Ss. I don't have ones for plus. The plus is longer.
I don't see it. Um, so I don't think I can do it. So instead, we are going to use a, uh, a bit to do it. Um, it is a little long, so I'm going to cut it just a hair short, which is fine because it needs it. Okay. Shape it just a little bit. Yeah, I don't have any for the plus. Um, I only have for the Mark III S, which is slightly shorter. They are not compatible, unfortunately. But um, I do have a double sided uh, V bit for a. Um, whatchamacallit, a, a CNC mill. So I have this from back when I had my X car. So even if we're not perfect here, should still be better than nothing. Yeah, it's mainly there to prevent snags. It's not immediately necessary, but it is nice to have it. Boy, Carbide does a good job. I am looking to get a Carvera. Um, we did reach out to them. We have a project where uh might be nice to have one of those. So if, you, if anyone has any contacts at Carvera, let me know. Should be 50 millimeters in length. Uh, everyone thinks the inner bevel is the only one that matters. Well... I can't do that one. So we're just going to send it. Uh, this is better than what the client gave it to me as. I will let him know that he needs to replace it. Okay. Mine at least fits. His didn't fit. So again, this is kind of doing all that we can do. At the end of the day, I am limited to what I can and can't do by what we're given by our client, right? So I was not told that there was anything that was needed with the uh, um, with the PTFE. So I did not check it. <laughs> That's on me. Um, but it's, you know, it's not my fault. <laughs> It's just straight up not my fault. So. Alright, what size screw? Yeah, I can do the inner bevel with a sharp exacto. I am not going to worry about it. I'm going to let them know that they need it. And from there, they can decide if it is something that they need. M3 by 18. Really? It's an 18? Alright. In we go. Now, I don't know if the Pinda Probe is set to the right side. The right, uh, not side. The right size yet? That is not something... Ah, uh, shit. The fan is supposed to go under the probe, isn't it? Fairly certain it is. Ah, I can go on top. I'm going to it. You're fine. Right? How do you want me to wire this? See. I am reading the Prusa instruction manual. It is uh it is listed. Okay, yep, yep, I did it backwards. Okay. No big deal. No MMU equals not a big deal, but harder to load. No, that doesn't unf <laughs> For better or worse. That qualifies as not my problem. Y'all might say, Grant, that's rude. Grant doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah, it is. It's uh, 7 mil. Oh, no, it's it's 2 mil. It's 
1.9 millimeters. Man, 1.9 millimeters between good and bad. Good thing that's not how it works for guys. Or is it? I don't know. I wish they had a sock. I really don't like printers without socks. It's very, very unsettling to me. Am I missing a part? No, I have one. It's right here. I have two. One's right here. Coolio. All right. Yeah. Let's do a couple of things. I know that we get a screw through here. Oh, but before we do that, we got to put a square nut or a nut in here. Oh, Ben's here. Hi, Ben. Uh, TS is the customer in the stream. I don't know. If they are, they are. If they're not, they're not. Does not matter to me. They are aware that I'm streaming this, um, and I'll be providing them with a full report, so. Yeah. But uh, since I don't have what they need, yeah, it's not on me to make it. They need a part, and that is not something that I can provide to them. Ben says, hey, mate, didn't realize there was a stream until I woke up and saw the tweet. Well, I mean, that's fair. Because uh, I didn't really decide I was streaming until later today, so. You're good, broski. Don't let what I'm doing get in your way. You have been doing some cool stuff that I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> uh, ben Ben has a pretty cool day job and he shares a lot with us in the discord which is Patreon, YouTube channel member and PayPal only is pay gated sorry hey Grant Andrew made a quick version of the Victoria animation it's slick well, I have Discord on this PC. I don't know if it's logged in or not. So, we can try. If it's logged in, great. If it's not, then this won't work. We will see. Uh, if it is in Giphy or something, we can post it. Let's see. Is it going to log me in? Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can post it here. That's all. Ugh. Got some crap. I'm getting tagged and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's great. I don't think I can put that in the stream, though. But that is... Hilarious. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on something. I do now have Discord on this PC, but I'm going to remove it. Well, uh, turn it off, I guess. It's probably the more correct terminology for that. All the holes for the bamboo are a little tight. Uh, for better or worse, I guess. But they're not the right, they're not the right way. Here's hoping the Z isn't bent. There's no way for us to know if it is until we get all this together and we see if it passes the tests. There we go. Okay. We do need to install that clip before we put this cover on. So this cover holds everything together, keeps it all from coming apart, especially making certain that the HUD in itself doesn't fall out. Now, I don't see anything on here that we need, so I'm going to go 
going to just install it. Yeah, all the parts of the bamboo are like slightly undersized. That is so weird. Like, they fit. They're just insanely tight. I mean, hey, if you're into that, I guess. <laughs> I am trying to be more family friendly so we can be more sponsor friendly, but sometimes, sometimes the intrusive thoughts get the best of me. <laughs> Uh, okay, we've got that one teeny tiny little screw that I will take care of right now. Hashtag DGen. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and if you guys don't mind, like the stream if you haven't. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and if you do want to kick a couple of bucks, that option is available too. Of course, not necessary. It's a live stream. Be family friendly on the normal videos. Yeah. Andrew makes me family friendly on the normal videos. <laughs> because, uh, he bleeps everything when I cuss. But I am human. I am flawed. I have my problems. I got about 99 problems and the bamboo is most of them. <laughs> you do want to know what kind of chat my ass the other day though somebody somebody said something about my hairline i'm like i i am not i'm in my 30s and i am not losing my hair like i don't know what this guy was talking about but it it kind of upset me i'm like i don't know what i did to deserve that i don't have a bad hairline my father would kill for a hairline like mine. Love my dad. Uh, he just—he was just on the podcast for Father's Day. And he gave a lot of sage dad advice. So if you are in the need of some sage dad advice, go take a look at our recently posted podcast. Because my dad is a very interesting fella. And as they say, the apple does not fall too far from the tree. That is decidedly the case. Which friggin' way does this go? Am I... Am I okay right now? It goes like this. Okay. Like, hello? I've done something wrong. Have I? Is this even the right part? This holds the... Fan. Should go like this. I think I did something backwards. Oh no. No, no, that goes there. Okay. All right. I think we're okay still. Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. All right. Uh, now I have to replace this front plate here. Which, oh, I already installed. Okay. Whoops, the doozles. Hold on. Let me fix that. Varn is 100% the way to go. Oh, the hair comment. Yeah, the hair comment. Uh, Chris Head says he's returning his bamboo. Sorry about that. Getting a Voron. NA says he didn't buy a bamboo because of my videos. An experience when you dig deeper there's lots of other people with problems too yeah well again you know i recommend that you uh you spend money as you like i don't generally recommend that you get a bamboo but there are gonna be people that say f you grant you know and that's okay oh man oh this is the worst part to date holy crap wow uh, hold on. You guys gotta see this. No. F wow, this is bad. Uh, also, I'm an idiot. I put a part on when it didn't need to go in. And it... Oh, okay. They did make their announcement. Okay. Uh, Micro Center did announce a, um... A center opening in Miami. And you wanna know what's really funny about that? 
They are opening it in the former location of a Tiger Direct. Okay. This, this is how the part should look. This is how that part looks on the melted printer. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Look at it from the side. It's literally just melted the part. That is nuts. It's nuts. But yeah, Micro Center is opening um, in the former location of Tiger Direct. I bought a lot of stuff from that Tiger Direct. My, my, I know exactly where the location is going to be. Um, I will probably end up going down to Fabrico before that. But the plan is that we are going to go down to Fabrico and do some filming with them. Um, because I've got some really stupid ideas that have actually been approved. Uh, which does not happen often where my idiotic ideas get approved by people. So, yeah, I would love to see one open in Tampa, but hey, a seven hour drive is uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see. Bamboos remove lots of comments from their forums. I don't like that if that is true. I do not like that. Their Reddit is fairly open about the issues, but that's about it. I have stayed off of their Reddit. Um, personally, I, I find that most of the places where there are bamboo people tend to be kind of toxic. I am not here for that nonsense. Personally. Yeah, Grant, you should have known that's how that went. That all goes. Come on. Find your hole. Okay. Then we'll loosely tighten this up. All right, what's the over under? How many spare parts do I end up? Kit, you must live near me then. Um,. He said two hours off from an hour drive to one of the South Georgia locations. I have done that. Are you the guy in Newport, Rich? I think you might be. Um, I have done that drive. We built my brother's uh, first custom PC at a micro center, and we drove 15 hours round trip to do it. Uh, it was a 5820K and a 3090X or 3900X2, the 3000 AMD series, when they had an X2 variant, where, where it was like literally two cards. Uh, that was back when the 5820K was literally the best. Okay. All right. It's looking good. I've got a couple of these nuts still. I'm a little hesitant about where they go. I may be that squirrel. Okay. T says that's true. Most of the content creators got the machines for free too, so they don't have much to complain about. Um, I disagree. I know that a lot of people did get machines uh, in exchange for content. I, to be clear, do not have a problem with that. I support Bamboo and supporting creators. Uh, I am not one of those people. I did pay full price for my machine. Bamboo does not support my channel, and given the things I say about them, probably never will. Uh, however, it has never been my intention to try to get a company to sponsor us. My goal is always um, my, my my goal is always to tell the truth, and if that is something that disqualifies me or that puts me on the radar of a company in a bad way, so be it. I'm not here to make friends. Oh, are you guys stuck on the top down? Crap, you've been stuck on the top down. I am so sorry. I didn't realize you are stuck on the top down. I'm so sorry. I've been talking, and you're stuck on the top down. Not bad. But, yeah. I am not, uh... I'm not cool enough. 
to be supported by bamboo. And that is okay. Remember, you don't have to be the perfect guy for every company. Or the perfect person, I should say. Saying guy is presumptuous of gender, and I do my best not to do that. Okay, I am missing a part. Out of all the things that I would be missing, this was not what I expected to be missing. Oh, haha, -ha, I'm not missing it. It's in the old part. <laughs> uh, I was missing um, a hex map. Hunter, Hunt05 is asking if I've seen the leak for the LGX Pro Extruder, new all metal gears and a bigger motor was supposed to be announced at Murph. Uh, I have not. I don't have a, I was supposed to have a relationship with Vetus. But we don't have one. Uh, but we do have one with Fabrico, so I think just kind of, uh, you know, that's a thing. I guess. I don't know. Someone is asking if I'm going to Murph. No, I am not. I am unfortunately not going to Murph. We do not have the finances to go. And uh, none of our, uh, we could not find a sponsor, so. Bit of a bummer, but that's all right. It's always another year. We are going to the East Coast Rep Rap Festival, and uh, we are trying to go to the Sanjay Mortimer Rep Rap Festival. Especially since uh, one of our staff actually won the Sanjay Mortimer Rising Star Award, which is pretty dang cool, if I do say so myself. I'm very proud of Zach and the work that he's done. Zach's a good kid. This is a very difficult screw to get in without an Allen key that isn't uh, flexible. Or not flexible. Got a hex head on it. Ooh, that was the bit that I'm missing. Sweet. All right, which one to use the right size? Am I going to get right the first time? Nope, too big. They don't hear that very often, so it's always good to say it when you can. You know? Uh, is that the same one? Same one. All right, I don't see the red size here. It might work with like a, with an actual hex key. Yeah, can make that work. But yeah, alas, uh, no Murph for us. No Murph for us. Hoping to be, well, I mean, I, I have already booked my tickets. Book my hotel and my plane and all that for, for the East Coast Rep Rep Festival. So we will be there again this year. No scanner yet. Uh, we'll see if that changes. And if it does, I'll let you guys know. But right now, uh, you're not currently planning on bringing Eva with us this year. Printers are great when they work. It's true. I'm sure the owner of this Purusha feels the same way, but they also know it's their fault. So, Chris Head says, yeah, I've enjoyed it when it works. Support is sending me a new AMS mainboard to fix my problems. I'm worried what will happen after my warranty expires. Yep. That is a big concern that I have. Uh... He says all the content creators that got the machine for free did mods to void their warranty. Yeah. And honestly, I think Bamboo kind of handled that poorly. I, I know you're referencing Joel and, and his video and how he got, you know, some support pretty quickly. And I, I, I think that's an egg on the face for Bamboo. It's a shame. But, yeah. Huh, this screw's not going in. That's not good. Why are you not going in? Shit. Oh, I bet it's because these are tight. Let me loosen these. Let me loosen these. Let it wiggle a little bit. Oh, come on. Ah! Nope. That's not going in. 
That is not something that I like. That is not pleasant. Uh, let's see if this other salt works. So that's the that's the cable chip stuff. So that's it's like there's something in the way. It doesn't look like there is. Just joining. How bad was the melted stuff? It was pretty bad, honestly. It was pretty freaking bad. It's the worst that I've seen since the uh, person that took a blowtorch their Perusa. Which actually only happened a couple of years ago for me. It was another client that had a Perusa. And they had a... Uh... Had a Mark III S. I gotta pull this back out. And they got a clog, and they thought the right move would be to um, use blowtorch to clean the clog. Yeah. Uh, zombie, this was an enclosed printer with a heater in it, and the heater was blowing right on the extruder. So, as you can see, it did not work out well something isn't fitting right, so I need to take a better look at things, and to do that, I have to fully take the extruder back down. Zinza says I can see the logic to use a blowtorch. Yeah. Yeah, melted stuff so far is uh, pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly. Give me a second. I'll show you some of the worst ones. These parts are just slightly too small. It's like the holes aren't the right size. It's so weird. Remember, these are done on the bamboo, too. You can tell I am just thrilled about this problem. Because that means the machine that I thought was working... Has issues still. Come on. Why is that not coming out? It's not stuck in anything. It's stuck though. There we go. I can feel it loosening. Uh-oh, still lemons from the lemon printer. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I did scale these so that they would be a little bit smoother. Scale them an extra half a percent, which is pretty standard. And based on the test that I did on the bamboo, was the right amount to scale it. But obviously, that's not right. All right. I am going to try to run one of these screws in on its own. It just, it looks like there's some crap keeping everything apart. What is in, oh, there's, so, there's something up top that's in the way. Oh. Ben said he lost audio on his end. Ben, have you tried flipping the computer upside down? You are in Australia. Oh, I bet dollars to donuts that's the issue. All right. I'm betting, if I'm a betting man, and I'm going to be a betting man, that the ABS parts are still a little tight. And the issue that I am getting is that the magnet is not fully seating. So I am going to tighten the ever-loving sin out of this, and the magnet will seat. <laughs> At least, if it doesn't, something else will break. Okay. Let's see, do we have a tight... Alright, I got no air. Okay, theoretically, that should be what we need. Let's find out. Please, no tighten me. I mean... 
I'm not gonna kink shame. You know? You do you, boo. Says he wants to have a more family-friendly stream, makes a kink joke. Yeah, that's on brand. Is the cat plushie wearing a tinfoil hat? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. That was a gift from a subscriber who figured out that we have a public address. We don't post it, but if you Google the company, you'll find a public address. Uh, and that's where they sent it. All right, something else is in the way. Shit. Let's see if the other one works. Is this other screw? This other screw went in real easy this time. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be no problem. Johnny Five is alive. Is he going in? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's in. The Zinza says, so to get Hue Forge or not to get Hue Forge, because it seems like a cool program. Well... I will make it easier on you. Go get Hue Forge. And uh, Polymaker is giving out coupons equal to the cost of Hue Forge for their filament. So your cost for Hue Forge becomes nothing. Which is super cool. Good guy Polymaker. Right? I'm all I am all for more filament companies doing that. I love to see when companies support small creators. Did you guys see that CNCU channel was building Johnny Five? That was that Saunders Machine Works. I I forget the name of the channel, but there was one I saw it and I want it. I have made a critical error here. Whoops, the doozles. That sucks. Yeah, this is gonna be a real bitch. Uh, dang. Why is this such a pain in the ass to this one part, the the one to hold NYCCNC, Saunders Machine Works? It's, it's, it's the same company. Yeah, yeah. Saw it, loved it, want one. Straight up. No idea if they even finished. I have no clue either. When you are done with yours, where you come clean mine out. I mean, if you pay me, I'm being paid to do this. So if you pay me, I'll do it. But you're not going to want to know my, my hourly rate. Oh, come on, doing the wrong script. Yeah, remember, I'm a business. I have an hourly rate. At least it's not by the minute. Ayo. Sorry, it's required. Huh. Grant has made a critical error. This is honestly the dumbest part. Of the MK3S. It is a part that I just don't understand why they did it this way. 500 an hour. If you want to pay me 500 an hour to do this, I will say whatever you want on the stream. You know, as long as it's within YouTube's terms of service. And doesn't go against my morals personally. But 500 an hour? Yeah, I'll do that for you. No problem. Oh, it's in sideways but it's it all right i oh, getting why am i getting a call from canada this is grant with 3d musketeers how can i help you can i help you NH3D Canada, can I help you? Okay, bye. I think we just got Baba buoyed. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Yes, the company line does ring my personal cell phone. Do not abuse that or I will block your number. 
and I can turn that feature off. If you abuse it, I'll make you pay. <laughs> Dang it! It was, it was you, NH3D Canada, wasn't me. It said NH3D Canada. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Someone just, did you accidentally Baba Booey us? Did, did I just get accidentally Baba Booey'd? Because that'd be hilarious. It was definitely you. <sighs> that's, that's funny. That's freaking funny. <laughs> uh pocket dial the stream it's great it was not a prank call from nero nero has my personal cell phone number he wouldn't call the company it was a 289 yes it was it said nh3d canada here hold on uh let me see if i can pull it up without exposing other phone numbers on my phone Oh, oh, the client is uh, watching the stream. He's texting me. He says, watching the stream. Thanks so much for going through it. The condition of the printer is much worse than possible. You can let your audience know what happened. I was printing ASA, realized the first layer was peeling off, and I overrode the automatic outlet that's relayed by the Temp Pro. Left it there with a handheld ceramic heater running for over an hour. Then I got a print failure. Heater was located inches away from the left side of the printer when looking at it dead on the LCD menu facing front. It was a 500 watt ceramic element heater. I don't know. Hmm. I will do it this way. But yeah, NH3D. Oh, why am I going to show your phone number? Well, that's just stupid. I'm not going to show your phone number on camera, but yeah, I, I, I got a phone call from NH3D Canada based in Ontario. It was you. You did call me doxing could have been my cad guy maybe hopefully you don't get uh international charges for that wouldn't want that Oof, yeah 500 watt heater yeah please don't do that well good if the client's watching he already knows that uh that there's a part that we didn't replace. That makes my life a lot easier because now I don't have to explain it. Now he knows. And remember, kids, knowing is half the battle. But I will say this isn't the first time it's happened to me. This is still the hardest thing to do. Dang it! Is deal with this stupid... This, this stupid nut on, on the top of the blower fan. Hang on, I will call you from the cell. I, I, I don't. It, it's fine. There's like, there's no reason for you to call me. But, I mean, if you really want to, you can. But there really isn't a reason for you to call me. But yes, we do have a public phone number. Yes, during regular hours, it rings to my cell phone. And if you call it after hours, I will make your life problematic. <laughs> Welcome to the world of being a solopreneur. Uh... Major Gamer Geeks asks if the first test print is going to be on stream. It will. It will. I need, uh, since the owner is watching, I'm, I am going to provide proof of life here. You know, again, if you're getting paid to do work, you got to, uh, you got to prove you know your shit. So I don't want him to think that this is all just fake in it. Uh, 
I hate this part. This is literally my, my, my least liked part. 3DM call in show. I have wanted to do something to how Maker That Money does it, where they have a way for you to call in. Um, I know how they do it. They use Video Ninja. But I just don't know if there's a lot of value to that for like a podcast. Why is this? If this screw's not long enough. I know. Story of my life. Two of them that these are the longest ones that I have that isn't the extruder screw, which I guess I can put in. Huh. Hmm. Am I on the Voron Discord? I am not. I am not in the Voron Discord. I need a flashlight. I need to see what's going on with this part. So I am currently dealing with... Um... Uh, pain in the ass. All right. I am currently dealing with the, uh, the motor mount part. Not the motor mount, the fan mount part. It's such a pain in the ass to deal with sometimes. Let me make sure that this is even going to thread in. Grant's first day on the job. We all will call you. Yeah, I don't want that. See, the thing is, I can't ease... I guess I can actually route my... I could route... I could do it. I could route the company phone number through OBS. We could do a call-in show. Huh. Huh. We could do that. It, it sounds crazy dangerous to me because like, but because we use Google Voice, um, it will auto screen the calls for me. So if someone doesn't put like, you know, that, that, that they're here for the call in show, I send it to voicemail. Oh, we could do that. Better put a delay on it. I, I can't easily do that. If someone calls and says, like, the N-word, I will leak their phone number. <laughs> and if it's a private phone number, I, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to answer it. Like, I know that you all think I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Not that stupid, thankfully. There are things in life that I've done that are that dumb. But, yeah. Uh, TJ187 says, What is a reasonable timetable to pay down an X1 carbon when using it in a startup? Just started my own little print company and need some kind of goal. I paid mine off in four days. No, a week. It was supposed to be four days. It took seven. Because uh, I had enough print issues with it. That's actually, I bought it because I had a job that paid for it. Um... But I would say for a business, because the machine is not too expensive, I mean, 1600 bucks for a 3D printer, it's really not that bad. I would say if you can pay it off in six to six to eight months, um, that'd be fine. Kappa Steve is asking, is it in yet? Y'all just like degrading me, huh? That is not my kink, unfortunately. Is it in yet? Jeez. There's an ex-girlfriend joke there that's just not even appropriate for me to make, so I'm not going to make it. All right, I got a screw in, so I'm just going to tighten the pit, the piss out of it. See if that helps it stay where I need it. Yeah, it looks like it does. We have burners. Look, if you're going to go through that much effort to use a burner on the show, just so you can call in and baba booey my show, I mean, whatever, man. Kappa Steve says a bad move. Finally fixed the ongoing saga with that lemon of a printer. No, they have not. I think I fixed it. By the dumbest possible thing. By running carbon fiber polycarbonate through it. I had a print that called for it. And I said, oh, I've got a fair bit of this material. Let me see if the bamboo will like it. Just open it to Discord members. Zombie, that would be a problem. The Discord members are the ones that I'm worried about. Our fans are the ones that I'm... <laughs> I don't call them the DGens for no reason. Jeez, they're, they're the ones I'd be most worried about. 
no I, I you guys are great i love all the i love our fans you guys are wonderful but no they have not fixed it i ran carbon fiber polycarbonate through it and ever since i did that it's running smoother um mind you i've only done and that was uh wednesday yeah wednesday i think and i've only done a couple of prints since then so yeah i don't know always 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 grain of salt whatever i say when it comes to bamboo your mileage may vary i have had an absolutely horrendous experience with them you may not so once again your mileage may vary there's a short screw i forget which screws go where in the thing so let's go back and look at it let's look at the fan Oh, it's three screws the same length. Well, I don't have three screws the same length. I have two. And I yet have no clue where this screw goes. Oh, you know what? I bet. Well, no, this needs to be relatively long. Oh, actually, that'll work in there. All right, hold on. Got a plan. Got a plan. I think that I think there was some assembly issues with this printer initially. Uh, TJ says my X1C needs a nylon cold pull every two or three prints with ABS to clean it out. Honda Design has its flaws. Amazon CHT coming in soon. I am not making any adjustments. On my X1 Carbon, because they have claimed that the dumbest shit is a problem. And it's really, really dumb. You know, having a third-party build plate would result in your extruder having issues. I, I, I legitimately don't know how that's possible. Legitimately don't know how that's possible. But according to Bamboo, it is, in fact, possible. I still don't have three screws that are the same length. I, I don't care. I don't care. It's not. It'll work. Uh, they're very, these are uh, 14s instead of 16s. Two mils not going to be too much of an issue, I don't think. All righty. I'll be curious to know why am I... Grant, turn the effing printer. Make it easier for you. Jesus. Like, why, why are you working so hard? Move the freaking printer. Don't hurt your back in the process. Gosh. All right. Have you tried to turn it off and on again? I love it. Uh, the Zin Zinza says, are they still blaming bed leveling? They are. Yep. They are blaming bed leveling on some of the pretty obviously not bed leveling issues I've had with Again, your mileage may vary. You might have a great experience with bamboo. I have not. Your mileage may vary. Seriously, I, I don't... Uh... You guys will do what you guys will do. That's all I gotta say. Some people have amazing experiences with their machines. Some people do not. I am one of those people that does not. Switching to Geico helps your bamboo. You know what? If a funky gecko could help me, I would take it. The big thing for me is that a lot of the things that were going wrong with my printer, their wiki isn't, like, built out for it yet. So I'm kind of shooting in the dark. And I don't like that. But have I tried turning it off and on again? I mean... Multiple times, just not like immediately, but yes, I have. My hands are starting to sweat. <laughs> and yes, tap that like button if you haven't. Thank you, Duff. Thank you for reminding the people. 
Zinza says, I'm kind of over PETG. I'll just use ASA. If you have a printer that's fully enclosed, I totally understand. There is a part of... Jesus. There is a part of me that says instead of ASA, I'd rather see, a, you know, PETG just because it's non-styrene based, right? And so it's, you know, better for the environment, but... I get, I get the reason for using styrene. I use styrene for this. What temperature is your room at? Why are you asking me these questions? It's probably 80 degrees, 82 degrees in here. Am I sweating through my shirt? Not yet. Okay. So I'm, oh shit. Well, that is gone. Ah, uh, damn it. All right. I got, I got my M3 below me. No big deal. Yeah, it's pretty hot here. Uh, BioZombie Active says, so I'm thinking of getting an MK3S kit. I have Revo High Flow nozzle for my Mini. Should I also buy Revo Hodden for the MK3S to make use of the High Flow? Uh, I would hold off on that for now, honestly. Um, get used to the printer on its own without any upgrades. And then go ahead and look for upgrades. I, I think the MK3S is a phenomenal printer on its own without any upgrades and i think that uh if the first thing you do is try to install upgrades on the printer you're kind of uh i don't know just yeah and, and as ash and as ashley says uh, honestly at this point just get the mark four if you can't afford the mark four I would say that the extra price for it is likely well worth the money. If you are looking to spend Prusha money, of course. And as Zombie says, you need a reference point. I totally agree with that. You absolutely 100% need a reference point. Why are you not going up? You're stuck on something. I don't know what you're stuck on. Oh, I think I see it. Oh, ah, dang. Why? Hold on here. Let me, let me undo the fan real quick. For some reason, can't get this to stand where it belongs. Oh yeah, okay. It's uh, it's really tight. Uh, if you don't have Prusa money, go for the poverty Prusa. I think so. I think so. If if you're not ready to spend MK4 money, if you want, if you are new and don't know how to fix printers, printing immediately. Are we back? What the heck? Okay, I'm back. All right. Huh. That's all OBS. I have not dropped a packet. I've not dropped a packet and I've not dropped a frame. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, 0% loss. I've been pinging Google the entire time that we've been live. So that is, uh, that is all OBS. That's so weird. I'm sorry. God, we lost a lot of viewers. My God, we were up at like 50 something. I hate when this happens, man. It's, it, it, from like a live stream perspective, this is, it's literally one of the worst things that could happen is that the stream goes dead, right? Because then people leave and they go elsewhere. And then now they're gone from us. And getting them back is really tough when you've had a tech issue. That is an OBS failure. So weird. Um, I actually just updated OBS today. So, I don't know. 
Okay, this still isn't going up high enough. So I am, uh, I'm trying to get the, uh, the print fan in there, but for some reason, she does not want to go. <laughs> Let's see. What is in the way? Nothing. There's literally nothing in the way. Oh, there it is. I got it. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Sweet. There it is. All right. Okay, and other than the one screw that dropped, which I will replace here in just a second, but thankfully is not actually an important screw to the entire build, we are done with no spare parts. That's the most surprising thing to me is that we don't have any spare parts. Normally I have spare parts. <laughs> H3D wants to... Why don't you raise the Z-axis so you don't have to lean over? I do not have the Z-axis raised uh, because I have not. I don't have the printer turned on. Now the second hardest thing: getting, getting the. Uh, the extruder door screw in. 50 viewers again. Woo! That's a plus. Thank you guys for coming back. I definitely don't get immediately like crazy scared. Like everyone's gonna leave and not come back. Such a pain. Uh, I am using a HP Elite Desk. It's got a 7700 in it. No GPU, so we're actually doing all this on QuickSync. So, glad to be back, though. Okay. Alright. Next thing. This print bed is filthy. How's the other side look? The other side looks pretty clean. Yeah, this is probably clean enough. It's cleaner than what's on the print bed, I'll tell you that much. A little bit of alcohol. Glug, glug. Wipe this bad girl down. Well, I like to for alcohols. I will continue to buff it until my paper towel dries up. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I do. All right. Put that down. Plug this in. Turn the printer on. Oh, you're noisy. Why are you noisy? Okay. Um, because... We don't know where the pin to probe needs to be. Actually, I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm going to auto home the printer. Of course, I got to find that setting. It has no SD card. Okay. Calibration. Auto home. Let's make sure she still works. Now, what next we're going to do is use uh, one of the uh, you're not dragging. Right? We're going to use a, uh, a a zip tie, and we're going to set the Pinda probe. And to do that. We got to go to move axes. We're going to move Z. 
and eh, won't go much lower than that. So let's uh, let's unscrew this a little bit. We're gonna push the pin to probe down, and we're gonna set the pin to probe on top of a zip tie. This is per the Prusa manual. It is also the way that I've been doing it for years. It works great. Put it on a zip tie. Okay. Now what we can do is go back up. And auto home again. And we'll make sure that everything looks okay. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Uh, we're going to do a first layer calibration. We're going to go ahead and reset it. We're going to load filament. I've just got some, uh, some generic gray filament right here. I'm going to go ahead and load this in. Let's make sure this whole thing works. It does. The printer recognized the filament. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. We are preheating everything. Ah, uh, head of the bolt, flush with the plastic. What are we talking about? I don't know what George White is referring to. Oh, well. Yeah, here, let me show you guys uh, some of the worst of the melts. I would say... This one. This one's got to be the worst. This plate's supposed to be flat. This entire plate is supposed to be flat. You can see where the stepper motor melted into it. Not pleasant. That's the worst piece. So, crazy, crazy, crazy. I've got a bunch of spare parts, which is good. I'm going to provide the individual with a couple of um with a couple of spares of some of the most common parts that fail. A couple of uh fan shrouds. And some other stuff as well. Alright, we're loading our filament. I'm going to turn the spool so it feeds properly. Let's make sure we feed well. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, we're feeding. Great, 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 great. Is the correct color. Pull this out. They were printing with black before. I can tell you that. All right. First layer cal. PLA. We're going to go through and redo our first layer calibration. I don't like Prusa's first layer calibration, but whatever. It's what we got, so it's what we're going to work with. Uh, to do that, I'm going to give you guys... Hmm. Yeah. All right. That's fine. You can get that. So now, uh, you know, you got the webcam looking at the Prusa. And just for matter of keeping everything the same, I don't know what you are, where you're going, but you, you can go up there. Oh, it's a three by, I forget it's the three by three. Shit. Some problem encountered. Z-leveling enforced. Calibrating Z. Yeah, that's fair. There might be some issues with that. Uh, I don't prefer any first layer calibration. Honestly, I just kind of send it. Um, I'm guessing the Z is, is off kilter a bit, but we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah. 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 She was, she was bent. She was bent quite a bit. Uh, so the Z was off kilter a bit. What webcam is that? It is some generic ass webcam. <laughs> it's just some, ge I, I really got to get a better camera for that, but we are going to be upgrading the mainstream camera relatively soon. Uh, in the next 30 days. So, yeah. All right, so this is what I love about Prusa. It recognized that its Z-axis was maybe not 100% where it needed to be. All right. Love Prusa's, man. Love that it can detect all this crap. All righty. 
We're almost there. Let's get that Z offset set, baby. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to need, like, a lot more. Yeah, I, I think the Prusa test is kind of uh, kind of terrible, to be honest with you. But when I get it close, I just kind of... Uh, just kind of figure it out. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Looking real good at that, at that level. Let's go to 85. So we're negative 1.685. I think that might be money. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll let you know where we end up with a Z offset. I think that's good. I think I'm going to stick to that number. I'll see here in just a second. Oh, it's like I've done this for 15 years. Oh, it's so good. Uh, actually, we are a little hot. We're a little close. Yeah, we're a little close. Let's try that. Okay, I'm down at like 625 now. Ooh, right at the end, I got it. Oh, that's clean. All right, here, let me show you. Because this is the other benefit of having uh, not a webcam for my top-down camera. It's actually a camcorder, is that I can super zoom. And then, because I can, you can see... It was a little bit close there, and then uh, right at the end, we cleaned it up. So, yeah. Here, actually, we're doing most of the work there, so. Give that to you guys. And that is actual optical zoom. So that's not, uh, that's not fake. So we're going to do that again. One more time. Just so I can get it right. But yeah, I, I, I would prefer a first layer calibration with um, with more squares. The lines are not all that useful, honestly. And it's always bothered me how useless the lines are. So we're going to continue with the offset that we had. We're going to use PLA. We're going to do it. Zombie says swatch truck. I did not slice a swatch truck. I have a Benchy on here so that's what we're gonna print but i want to make sure we get our first layer right before we go for it yeah mk4 no more squinting at that nozzle oh god it'd be so nice insert live adjust z meme here appropriate Sorry, zombie, I don't have a swatch truck model slice. That was probably a bit of an oversight, because I do want to start showing more models from my friends, and you are certainly a friend. This is where having a sit-stand desk would be great, because I could just send the desk up and not have to bend down, because my back hurts. <laughs> Are we going to move yet? Come on. Don't give me this malarkey. <sighs> Use a desk to focus on the camera. Yeah. I'm not aware. I'm sure there are others, but I'm not aware of any others. Let 
like that are that Prusa includes, right? The big thing for me is that Prusa includes it. I also have no clue if this, like, what nozzle diameter this is. I'm fairly certain it's 0.4, but I'm not, honestly not certain. All right, I'm happy with that. Drinking game every time Grant sighs. You would be... You'd be real drunk by now, or in the hospital. One of the two. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give ah, <sighs> alright, it looks good. I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Pretty happy so far. It's literally just this last little square that I want to see. Dialed. Negative 1.55. That is the number. Number is negative 1.55. Have you tried leveling your bed? Oh, yeah. That's an icy, icy first layer. I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's go to the overhead so you guys can see it. And zoom! There you go. Other than little line that's over it, that is really clean. Oop, don't get too close. There you go. Just move, move the whole thing. So there you go. Nice and clean. Very happy with that. Oh. Yep. Negative 1.55. That is the number. So now that that looks good, we're going to pull this off. We're going to run the Benchy. Uh, Benchy is not stock settings. I did speed it up a little bit because, well, I'm tired and I don't want to be out here for much longer. Um, but once we get a few layers deep into the Benchy, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll likely look at ending the stream a little bit. So, all right. Let's get that webcam set back up. And let's go to, uh, no, no, there's, there's just the webcam for now. Just the webcam. God, it shows you so much more of my shop than I wish it would, but you know, whatever. You can see the wood shelves that I built, I guess. There. I'll put that like that. All right. Now we're going to do a Benchy. And uh, as per usual, when we work on printers, we will provide the Benchy on the build plate. So I'm not going to take the Benchy off the build plate. We will provide that to the client uh, when they come and pick it up. But as far as I'm concerned, that's the job done. And the reason that I am so confident is because it's a Prusa. <laughs> Try going to bed at 11 p.m. and getting up at 1 a.m. to be at work by 3. Yeah, I feel that. I, I don't sleep much either. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, we're resetting the printer. Um, it's not doing the 5x5 five five, or the 7x7, seven seven, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that because I want it to do the whole thing. No, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wish I was there for a better test print model, Zombie says. Yeah, I know. I always forget where it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
I am looking um I'm trying to find where that is in the settings. I always forget where it is. Under statistics? No. Settings? Mesh bed leveling. Ah, yes. 7x7, seven 5 seven, probe, magnetic comp is on. All right. Much better. I, it, 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 has, it has to do it. Thank you. We got it. We're good. No, it, it has to do it this way or I get upset. It's like, no, if you can do more than the, the minimum mesh bed, you should. Oh, looks like we have a new, uh, a new PayPal member. Well, let me see. I do think we do. We do. Oh, okay. Uh, the person that did it. I'm fairly certain you're still here. If you are, DM me on Discord, and I will get you the link. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass for me to do it on my phone, via PayPal. But if you DM me on Discord, I will get you the link. I'm going to copy it right now. Just so that I can have it ready. I bet, I bet, you are probably in, um, oh yeah, okay, yeah, DM me on Discord. If you're in Maker Deck, if you go at Grant in Maker Deck, you should be able to see it. Oh, I only did 5x5, five five. crap. Why is it so slow? Did they slow it down? No, no, no. I no. I prefer PayPal. We we actually make more on PayPal. If you are in, uh, I don't know. DM me on Discord. Should be pretty simple to find it. Why is it so slow to do the probing? Mine on three point eight point three probe much faster. This is three point eleven. Uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, that person, I am also in the uh, the Maker Deck Discord. DM me, and I, I will send you the link right now. I've got it open on my phone. So, uh, we are both in Maker Deck. I can see that you're in there. Um, yeah, DM me, and I will send you the link immediately so you have it. Unless you already have, and I'm a ding-dong for not noticing it. Yeah, and since we're not friends, I can't easily DM you on my phone. Uh, yeah, ChemNerd, DM me. And I'll get you into the Discord. We're literally just waiting for the Purusha, so I'm okay with, uh, with talking about that. Yeah, I don't... This is 7x7x5. Seven by seven by I don't know why it's so slow. I don't know. Oh. Crap. Uh, that's not the right one. Hold on. I gotta... 
I need to invite. There. Ha! Now I did it. There you go. Have fun. Now you're in the Discord. How's that for customer service? You want to talk about customer service? All right, now I got to get your profile and I have to assign you a designation. First layer is looking beautiful. You get that link. Welcome to the weird. <laughs> I assume there's people hanging out in the voice chat. Oh, just a couple. Just a couple. Welcome to the weird, though. Uh, it's always fun. Yeah, it should be 7x7x5. Seven by seven by yeah, that's what that's what this is. First layer looks pretty good. It didn't stick 100% the way that I wanted. We might be a little, a little too far. So I'll leave it there. That should be good. Just the Muppet critics. Yeah, that's fair. It is a weird time for me to stream. You said, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt the stream. No, we were waiting for the printer to do something, dude. This is the, like, this is part of owning a business. It's getting, it's getting stuff done when you have the time. I have the time. I'm going to do it. Like, you know, I want, uh, I want to help people where I can. And if that's something that I can do to help, then so be it. And since you paid, you deserve access. It's business, baby. But thank you for joining. But yeah, uh, the PayPal's through the company Gmail account, and that goes to my personal Gmail account. And I try not to give that out to people if I can avoid it. <laughs> Grant likes money. Of course I like money. Of course I like money. I'm a human being, after all. Someone saying that uh, they don't like that I talk about bamboo in the videos poorly because they've had such a good experience. Well, I haven't. Oh, you, you can hear it making noise. Yeah, sounds like a Prusa. Yep, they're, they're not the quietest printers. They are not the quietest printers. Someone asked, is slicing just a game to you? I don't even understand that comment. I got a lot of comments on that video. Hmm. Deal with it later. Amber says I'm at work, but just a quick hello and goodbye. Hello, goodbye, Amber. Everyone say hello to Amber. Russ is here too. Hey, Russ. We just, uh, we just fixed a Prusa in two hours, two and a half hours. So I'm happy with that. And, you know, I told the client, I bet it's going to take me about two and a half to three hours on stream. So, yeah. And there it is. Running like a Prusa. Here, here's your webcam only view. She's running well. I'm, I'm, I am I got to get a switcher out here. I got to build a little macro pad out here. That'll be part of the, uh, the new thing that we do. Yep. She's running real good. This printer's running really good. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I got the client's phone number, and I'm going to send them a picture of the machine running. So they can, they, they can see it before the stream can see it. 
Oh, that was a bad problem. There we go. Time! I literally just sent the, the client a picture of the printer printing and time. That's it. How much does it cost to repair in parts? I mean, if you have a functioning printer that you can print with to do it, then yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. The other thing I'm dealing with is I'm a moderator of the 3D Print My Things subreddit. And uh, the users voted to do other things. Ah, yep. Remove. And now, now users are starting to, uh, to get mad. Well, they voted, and all we did was go with the votes. So here, um, I'm a mod of the 3D Print My Thing subreddit. Check this out. I asked them what they wanted, okay? You can see on the screen. Open it up, but only allow requests for Prince of John Oliver got 76 votes. Open up the way it was as 47 and leave it locked with no new posts has 25 votes. They're mad because I did exactly what they voted for. Don't be mad at me. You voted for it, not me. And somebody reported it. That's hilarious. This is dumb as hell. Love it. Well, hey, you guys voted for it, not me. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So stupid. I guess I have to upload this to Immigrant. I'll do it later. Printer's running well, though. I am happy with it. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, that means we are good to go. Um, I printed new parts for it. We installed all the new parts. And it's running like a Swiss watch, as it should, because it's a Prusa. So, yeah. I'm happy. Printer's running well. Part looks great. Um, no point in me streaming for another hour. So, I can't... Unless you guys have questions you want to ask me, I say we call the stream here. You all tell me. Hopefully ASA sticks to ABS. Uh, it should. Since they're both styrene based, it should. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I think we're good here. Um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I will see you all later. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always... Keep making awesome, even if that awesome is fixing printers that you broke. Have a good one.